and welcome to my new video. Today we discuss Gauss-Jordan method. How to solve the system of linear equation or we can say simultaneous equation with the help of Gauss-Jordan method. So in this method, in previous method, Gauss elimination method, we reduce the given system of linear equation in upper triangular matrix. Means we have the diagonal above have only elements the below the diagonal and up, only these elements becomes zero but in gauss jordan method in gauss jordan method we reduce the given system of matrix in diagonal form means our matrix a reduce in the diagonal form diagonal form means only diagonal have element or other becomes zero see means we have only a11 a22 a33 have only elements all other becomes zero so this is called diagonal form of the matrix now we will proceed by one example example is solved the system of linear equation with the help of Gauss Jordan method. Here, first we have to arrange into matrix form A, X, and D. A is our matrix of coefficient 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 3, 2. X is X, Y, Z, B is right hand side 8, 20, and 16. Next step we have to arrange into augmented form. So, augmented form is A dot B. A matrix then one column we have to introduce with the help of B matrix but only in augmented arrangement we have to concentrate that we have to reduce in dot diagonal form of A matrix because diagonal matrix is only the square matrix so we don't consider this next what is the operation for reduce these elements other than diagonal becomes zero with the help of row first step is same as it is like Gauss elimination method we have to reduce we have to reduce with the help of this element this becomes zero and with this element this becomes zero so for these we have two operation r2 is equal to r2 minus if you multiply r1 with 2 so r2 minus 2 r1 becomes zero for R3, R3 minus 4 of R1. Row 1 we multiply with 4 and minus then it will become 0. So our second matrix will come after this operation. Our new matrix will become this. See, first row as it is, second row we will calculate with the help of R2 minus 2 R1. So this 2 minus 2, 0, 3 minus 4 becomes minus 1, 4 minus 2 becomes 2 and 20 minus 16 becomes 4. Similarly for R3 we have to apply this operation 4 minus 4, 0, this minus this 5 and 2. Next with the help of this element because we need only the diagonal element we make this and this also equal to 0 with the help of the L row element with this. So for making this 0 and this becomes 2, R1 is 1 plus 2 to the 4. So this becomes 5. Clear? And next is 16, 0, minus 1, 2, 4. Next is 0, 0, 12 and 36. Again, next step. So, in R1, we can op operate minus 5 by 12 R3. So, when 5 by 12 of R3, 12, 12 cancel. And for R2 is R2. So here is the operation now with the help of this element, this element, we have to make this become 0 and this become 0. First step 
with the help of this element become this zero and this zero. Second step with this element, this becomes zero, this becomes zero. Third step with the help of this, this becomes zero and this becomes zero. So here with the help of this 12, we have to make all, both above elements become zero. Operation is this, when we apply the operation, our new arrangement is like this. So my new matrix become 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 12, 1, 2 and 36. Clear? With the help of this we can see direct x plus 0 y plus 0 z means x equal to 1, y equal to 2 and 12 z equal to 36. So x becomes, with the help of this matrix we can find the result of our given solution x equal to 1, y equal to 2 and z equal to 3. So this is the Gauss-Jordan method. Little bit more further elimination from the Gauss elimination. In Gauss elimination we can eliminate only the upper triangular matrix lower part of the. In this method we have to use reduce all the other than diagonal reduce equal to zero with the help of row operation. When you go step by step you will easily get the solution. Thank you very much.